Uh, hi, I'm Kendra. I'm a coach with the Detroit Writing Room, and uh, I work in human resources for my day job. <laughs> So I usually focus on creative nonfiction and poetry. Those are kind of where my strengths are, uh, as well as some fiction as well. I've worked with uh, writers who have fiction projects as well. So all of those things. I'm also a grammar nerd. So I'm definitely here for any uh, grammatical questions or, or help that anyone might need. Uh, and uh, since I do a lot of business writing as well in my job, I can always uh, offer some assistance there too. That's a good question. And actually my job has a lot more writing involved with it than you might think. I know a lot of times people hear human resources and your eyes just want to glaze over. Uh, but I actually work in some pretty creative areas of that field. So I work in training and development and recruiting, like specifically uh, employer branding, recruitment marketing. And both of those involve actually quite a bit of writing. Um, in training and development, we write presentations and um, we do a lot of different um, public speaking type things. We have a podcast series we do about leadership training. And so there's a lot of writing those scripts and doing research and that type of thing. Uh, I also write a lot of company communications, emails that go out to everybody about different topics. Um, and on the recruiting side, you know, trying to market the company to potential uh, candidates and people that could work with us. Um, that's a lot of messaging and writing and trying to be creative with those, those things as well. So uh, I do get to use that writing muscle uh, quite a bit. I actually got into um, um, human resources by doing some of those trainings and presentations kind of along the same lines as coaching. I really enjoy teaching and working with others. I've always liked mentoring and tutoring. And um, so it's kind of that same, uh, same vibe of helping others um, learn and, and do better. I would say helping other people to realize their dreams. A lot of the clients that I've worked with are working on passion projects, things that they might've been working on for years and anything that I can do to help them move that along and get closer to making that a reality is really rewarding for me. Yeah, nothing too specific. Uh, I, I got married last month, so life got a little busy. So I, that was what I was working on for a while was planning a wedding. So um, I would say I'm working on reading more though, which might sound odd, but uh, reading helps you be a better writer. And I've kind of gotten away from reading consistently. And so I'm trying to get back. I love reading. I just haven't made time for it. So trying to get back to doing that because that always gives you ideas and just uh, helps you improve your own writing. So that's where my focus is right now. Yeah, I think one of the best pieces of advice that I've gotten just in different forms can be summed up in, it's actually a quote from Jody Picoult. Uh, you can always edit a bad page, you can't edit a blank page. And that's something I try to remember is just get something out. And that's that's advice I've been given that I try to uh, take to heart is just getting something out on the page, getting it out of your head. You can always work with it. It can be total nonsense, but you can always make something out of it from there. But just staring at that blank page is, is kind of intimidating sometimes. So just just start get started. <laughs>